Zach, let's get back to the hotel. First Anna, then Becky, now Diane. I'm not looking forward to writing this investigation report. Agent Morgan. York. Do you have a moment? What is it, George? There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Do you have any time later? Can't we just do it here? If possible, I'd like to go to a bar. Of course, we don't really have to. A bar? Now that sounds like a good idea. Zack, what do you think? We can go drinking with George, or turn him down and head back to the hotel. Let's go for a drink. It's been a while since uh, we've been back. Much time since this is actually not cut out on me George, so many that times. Scar on your cheek. Where did you get it? Eating pussy. This? Didn't I tell you? Well, it's not from work. I got it when I was a kid. A childhood injury. Tree climbing? I used to get a few scrapes myself climbing the big tree in our backyard. I used to climb it a lot. And fall out of it a lot. Okay. <laughs> this wasn't anything like that, though. This is my mother. She did it. Oh, I'm sorry, George. Don't worry. It's ancient history. The world is flooded with unreasonable violence. The strong overpower the weak, adults over children, men over women, and criminals over their victims. I have no memories of my father. He left before I knew him. My mother would hit me every time I asked why. Ah, uh, she just loved you. There. there were love taps. If I ate too slow, left my shoes scattered around, TV volume too loud, she found reasons to hit me. Hit me bad. The worst was what she called the tree punishment. She'd whip my back with these thin tree branches like a whip. Jesus Christ. Tree punishment was definitely the worst, I tell you. Just hearing those words used to make me shiver and want to pass out. And that's why I didn't want to show you those scars on my back. Every time after the tree punishment, she'd always say the same thing. This is hurting the tree more than it is hurting you. And me, being a naive, dumb kid, I believed her. I went to the woods to apologize to the trees. <laughs> this is the exposition episode. <clears throat> I kept asking myself, why is she hurting me this way? Probably not going to see a lot I of action. I thought long and hard about it. In the end, I just figured I'm weaker than her. That's why. It's the law of Mother Nature at work. The strong eat the weak. But now, you have the power to protect the weak. That's right. Perhaps I should... But you finish a cigarette, York. Work. Just one. York. York. I've been an arrogant fool, haven't I? And if it weren't for me... Both Becky and Diane would still be alive. I could have saved them both. Mm. You know, it's almost like they died because of me. You're out of your mind. I invited you to this bar for a drink. But I guess this bar is my confession chamber. And I wanted you to listen. And to tell you. Well, you must already hate me causing all these problems not following your orders yeah york i'm sorry i'll follow your orders from now on why are you calling you'll me have york? my total cooperation george, agent morgan you've been as cooperative as you can be you plebeian you even invited an fbi guy to a bar for drinks you've done a good job protecting this town 
and the folks here respect you for that. Nobody can blame you for anything. Thanks. I do feel a little better. Um, yeah, yeah, so... God, I don't even remember where we left off. I had to cut part of it, I, I have to say, because, uh... It kept just it kept crashing, and all we really missed was just a fight with this. <sighs> I don't even know what the fuck you call it. It's just like a, it's, it's like the chick from the Grudge, probably the best way I could say it. But uh, I I did really want to finish this playthrough because one I haven't played it for a while, so it's it's getting back into it, you know, for me, enjoying it, and. Uh, I want to stick to my guns. I don't know if I want to talk to her. Do I want to talk to her? Alright, I'll talk to her. Hey, Carol. Becky is dead. Diane, too. Who starts a conversation Nick like that? Suspect. Nick didn't do it. Uh, I know. Uh, Carol. I know. You took a locket from Diane, didn't you? A locket with this mark on it. She can't see that, dude. T turn, turn, turn around. T oh, oh, okay. Just gotta put that back in. I'm busy, gotta go. I'm actually gonna skip this because this is just... It, it takes way too much time, and it's not prevalent to anything. If you want to see the song, go look on YouTube. I'm not going to waste time playing that song. That's terrible, too. It's not the best song. Sorry to keep you waiting, boys. Zack. Emily is already a goddess of the forest. That's a creepy thing to say, dude. Let's forget work for a bit and drink a little, shall we? York? Why is she here? Thought this was boys' night. Marry her. You know, to relax and get loose. Is this a problem? No. Of Thought course we not. were gonna have a circle jerk. Pardon me, Emily, but I'm pooped. I think I'll just call it a night. George, I just got here and you're walking out on me? Yep. I was hoping the three of us could have a drink and let out a little steam. I could choke you. I already had enough. And I already had a good man to man with York. I touched his penis. So I'll see you guys. <laughs> what a weird man. I think George likes you, but he's avoiding you all at the same time. <laughs> How astute. There's a reason? Nothing worth going into. It's a thing of the past. <laughs> okay. He did ask me out when I first came to town. I was still in high school. What? But I never really considered him my type. And there's the age gap thing, too. I Dude, is that guy sitting next course, to me even breathing? I wouldn't have taken this job otherwise. He's like not even... <sighs> so, did you move to this town alone? Of course not. I came with my parents. Tell me about them, then. Sure. Sure, why not? My dad dealt in stocks in New York. He was hardly at home when I was a kid. Always working. Those pieces of paper were far more important to him than I was. Which is no different now, really. I, I don't see much of him. My mother? Totally different story. A wonderful person that I still respect. She was always kind and understanding. Not only that, but she would always help me find my way. She could be fierce, too, scolding me if I took a wrong step. We had our battles, sure, but... All in all, she was a wonderful mother. Past tense? 
Yeah, she's gone now. Cancer, just before I graduated high school. <clears throat> she gave this to me just before she died. I take it with me wherever I go. It's what I treasure most. It's her diaphragm. I'm sure she's very proud of you. No, she used to give me this thing called the tree punishment. Everybody in town got the tree punishment. Potatoes will satisfy a small amount of your hunger. I don't know, have you ever had potatoes? I had a good time tonight. Good night. See you tomorrow. York. Yes. York, I wanna bang you. Please don't lie to us, okay? I won't. Don't worry. I won't. Maybe just a little. See, again, he cannot finish a fucking cigarette. Oh, that's gonna bug me. Finish a goddamn cigarette, York. Oh my god, alright, let's go back to the hotel and get some sleep. Let's crash into a thing because I forgot how to drive. So now that we have a second, I just wanted to say that we are about half done. I know, that sounds weird. But uh, we got, I think there's about 26 parts, chapters. But we'll finish it. I guarantee it. I may have to cut a little bit of it. Might have to miss some parts. I have to splice in some YouTube. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. Access Games just, they... I don't know what the fuck they did with this PC port. It's just not... It was not tested. Little pop quiz, Zach. Hope you were taking notes. Zach, let's go over our progress. Sure. From what Olivia told us, and the sketchbook we found at Becky's house, Nick and Diane became our primary suspects. There were a couple of reasons for this. First, Becky gave the missing locket to Diane. Also, Nick has no alibi for when Anna and Becky were killed. We followed Nick to the art gallery, which led us, unfortunately, to our third victim. The third victim, Diane, was strung up in the entrance hall of the art gallery. Her hands were tied and a knife was sticking out of her chest. Overkill? Oh, there was a marked difference from the previous crimes. Do you remember what that was, Zach? She was actually a man! I don't know. From what I remember, it was right after the crime. That's right. Diane was still alive. This suggests that very little time had passed since the crime was committed. Which means the criminal was still close by. It was someone near the scene. There are two possible candidates. Nick, who was knocked out in the entrance, and one other. Zach, who was the other person in the gallery? Our Lord and Savior, Gaben. That's right. Casey. We followed Willie, good dog, all the way to him. Casey's statement came out as follows. He and Diane were in a physical relationship. That was why he visited the gallery. The two were in the middle of such a meeting when Nick showed up. Diane lost her cool and shut Kaysen up in the basement. Now what did Kaysen hear when he was locked up? I 
I don't remember. Uh, boots. That's it. Okay. The sound of boots passing by. Nick was wearing boots that day. Which means it was likely that Diane met with Nick in her room. Yeah. Nick said he argued verbally with Diane about her playing around with men, but they eventually decided to go out drinking to make up. However, immediately after that, Women don't Nick just was make attacked up. by someone in the entrance hall and knocked unconscious. We saw the rest. Zach, do you think that Nick is our serial killer? Yep. I don't know, probably not. There's not enough circumstantial evidence. Me too. Asha sent in a report too. He found a large volume of red seeds in Diane's stomach. What this a weird way to kill somebody. As a victim of the raincoat killer. Remaining leads. There is the locket, which is in Carol's possession. The man with the tattooed back and the upside-down peace sign. There's a lot left to answer. I hope the coffee will give us more guidance tomorrow. I could have skipped that whole part in the bar, but I figured there was enough information in there that it was Zach, what did you crucial. think about George pouring his heart out? I was surprised. It's the end of a monarchy. And he called me York instead of Agent Morgan. God, now what? I just want to wank in peace. Emily? What's going on? Do you know what time it is? It's bone I'm, time. I'm sorry. I, I couldn't sleep, so I was drinking alone. I want to threesome with you and Zach. Very kind woman. She always smiled so brightly. Everybody I whistle along. Cookies every day. I, I'm, She'd I'm say not that I needed the sugar because I spent so much time thinking. My father was always quiet. We never talked much. He was a federal agent, just like me. And he was hardly ever at home. The only words he ever had for me were harsh ones. I had a vivid imagination, and I remember he once said this to me. You're adopted! There are plenty of crazy things in this world. You don't have to go dreaming them up. And it's my job to make sense out of them. One day you'll understand what I'm saying. I found out later that my father was one of the first to ever use criminal profiling to catch bad guys. And so now I'm doing exactly the same job that he did. Like father, like son. Can I ask you something? Nope. Shoot. Mind if it's something personal? Fire away. She's gonna get sexy. Who's Zach? <laughs> uh, um, Zach is a friend of mine. He's a fig Newton of my imagination. Oh, so you do have friends. Ooh, sick yeah. burn. He's my only friend. What kind of person is he then? Well, I, I've never seen his face. But he's always with me, and we discuss everything. When did you become friends? A long time ago. Back when I was a child. More exposition on da da da. Oh, blackface, poor form. I was seven. I woke up one morning to hear my mother crying in the living room. This wasn't normal, so I headed in to see her. My father was there pointing a gun at my mother. I was so scared. I closed my eyes so I, I don't remember much more. But I do remember the words my father said to me. You're still Sometimes adopted! We must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. 
When I came back to my senses, they were both dead. He shot my mother and then killed himself. Mystery solved. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Zach's with me. It was around that time that we became friends. I must have got you, baby. I'm with you, he said. I'll be here always. We can get through this together. Quite aside from that terrible scene in front of me, that voice seemed to make me calmer. And here we are, working together, getting through things. This is the first time I've ever told anyone about this. I wonder if Zack will get angry. That's a sad story, but I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but... Are you adopted? I'm sure there was a reason for what your father did. I know. I think maybe I became an agent to find out why he did what he did. 30 years later, I still haven't solved oh. the case. Oh, yeah, York, I, I forgot to thank you. Thank me? For what? You saved my life. If you didn't save me at the gallery, I would have died along with Diane. No need to thank me for that. I'm pretty useless. I couldn't save Becky. I couldn't save Diane. What did you just say? <laughs> useless? <laughs> I was never expecting to hear you say that. There might be a modest guy in you after all. Finally, you noticed? You're a little slow, aren't you? Ooh. <laughs> Maybe hopeless, but not Damn. useless. Fucking savage, bro. Zach, do you think Emily got home safely? Anyway, I think it's more serious of a situation than I thought. Do you remember? Our conversation with Emily. She's really interested in you. I think she's starting to have certain feelings for you. Calm down, buddy. Pump the brakes. If that's the case, Zach, you and I are rivals. This is a very serious situation indeed. I'll cut you, S.A. Well, if it comes to that, let it be a fair fight. Agreed? Okay. Thomas! 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 Let me out of here! Thomas! 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 Please! Now! 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 Batting! 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 Just for a moment! One second! Eat it! Here, Thomas! I'm going, man. I know you're there! Come on! Please! Dude, he's not there! Give it up! Thomas! Boner, 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 boner. All right. This is the episode that never ends. Well, it's the end of a chapter, so. Or episode, I guess I should say. All right, calm down. God, you act like somebody died. All right, well, anyway, that's the end of episode two. And uh, we've we've got uh, probably about like 13 more episodes or something like that, or 13 more chapters. I don't know, whatever. We'll figure it out. But thank you, uh, and we'll, we'll try to finish this up, actually, someday, probably next year. Um, but, but, yep. Yeah.